have four of the best luxury items you will ever see on the internet today. So let's go unbox it together. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fumi Ford. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I am a content creator living in Birmingham, Alabama, but she's a Niger babe. Nigerian born. My channel is all things fashion, travel, beauty, entrepreneurship, and luxury sprinkled in between. Today I have four of my favorite things that I've bought so far last month and this month. And I want to go ahead and get right into it. We're not going to do an unboxing because one item I got in Las Vegas and I left, I had, you know, I had to leave the boxes in Las Vegas because I didn't want to travel with this huge bag, this huge Fendi bag with the box. So I kind of just took the dust bag with the bag and left. And then I wore it literally the next day I got home. That's how much I love the item. But let's get started. We're going to start out with the first item. I'm saving the best item for last. And you're going to want to stay tuned because that item is going to have you in a chokehold. So let's get into the first item. And it's a pair of sunglasses. If you're new to this channel, almost every luxury haul that I do, there's a pair of sunglasses in it. So let's just get started with the first pair. I bought these when I was in Vegas. And they are Loewe, which is a Spanish brand. I love their accessories. Loewe is a minimalist brand with maximalist designs. And so you're not going to see their logo or motif all over their items. But their designs, you're going to know right away that it's that brand or a dupe of that brand. Because their aesthetic is so unique. Again, I got this while I was in Los Vegas. I've wanted these sunglasses for a little while. I actually wanted it in another color, but I did not find the color when I went into the Lueve inside of, I think, the Bellagio or the Wynn, one of those hotels. <sighs> Y'all, these sunnies are delicious. The color is not really the color that I wanted, but it was between this and black, and I just felt like this one spoke to me a little bit more than the black. Again, the way they, um, you're going to get their name on their arm and their motif right here at the bottom of the arm. And that's about it. Usually on any of their items, like their puzzle bag, their puzzle bag only has maybe this embossed in it and then Loewe somewhere on the inside. They don't do huge logos all over their bags, which I love. I am a logo girl, but sometimes brands like Bottega and Loewe just speak to me because they're so minimalist, but their design and aesthetic is maximalist and I'm a maxinista. So these are them. <laughs> These are the Ibiza's, I think. I'm going to put the name down below, but I think these are the Ibiza sunglasses. I absolutely love their sunnies. I have a video that I'll link as well with another pair of their sunglasses, the bubble sunglasses. Everybody had it on in London, Paris, and New York, of course. And I did not like it, but once I bought it, I was like, I'm in love. So these are ones that I have wanted for a while. I live in Alabama, so most of the time I have to travel three hours to Georgia to try it on. With sunglasses, I always want to try it on. I have huge cheeks, so I need sunglasses that are not going to sit on my cheeks. I need sunglasses that have an eastern cut, not a western cut. Eastern cut is more, eastern cut is a little bit better if you have a broader nose. And western cut is, of course, for westerners. And I'm not a westerner. She's a Niger babe. So these are the sunnies. Let me know your thoughts. These are so dope. And I feel like the color is so gorgeous on my skin. There's not a lot of colors that melanin can't do. So, I mean, that's just a given. But look at that. Let me let you guys try it on. Bring your face close so you can try it on. Oh my God, babes. You look adorable. You are so gorgeous in these sunnies. You definitely need them if you like them. <laughs> I will link the items that I bought down below if you're feeling frisky and you want to get it. But these are such great sunnies. I feel like they will transition into summer as well as fall and winter because they're this gorgeous sort of dull yellowish brownish color. They'll go with a lot of things. And then, of course, the frames are black, which are just 
perfect. The next item is another pair of sunglasses that I got from Fendi. Fendi, Fendi. I love Fendi because of Fendi's monogram is double F. My name is Fumi Ford. I'm also a double F. So, you know, me and Fendi go together real bad. This are the shades. Now, I've already worn these shades. I wore them while I was in Vegas um, for the Usher concert last week. So, as you can tell, they are dirty. They have been worn to the gods. I love that the frame is so minimalist. The frame is so tiny that it almost looks like the lenses are floating in nothing. You also have the Fendi logo. Um on the side, look at that, written in gold. And also, this is glass as well, and it's see-through, so that's just another added detail to these sunglasses. And then you also have it on the other side. So no matter what size somebody's looking at you, they're gonna catch your Fendi angle. They're gonna, y'all, look at this. Material goal. I want Chanel number nine, 55, 60. I don't know the words to that song, but <laughs> you get it. It's given material, girl. Okay. It's given material gual. I absolutely love these. Again, these sunglasses don't sit on my cheeks. Usually, you know, sunglasses aren't going to work for you if they move when you talk. That means that they're sitting on your cheeks and you're going to have a hard time. You're going to keep pushing them up or keep pulling them to get them off your cheeks. It's going to crease your makeup down here. These sit perfectly because they don't move. They don't move, okay? It is in there like swimwear. Ah, and then when I smile, it also doesn't lift up when I smile. I absolutely adore these. They are like every day every season of the year type of glasses. I also love that it has nose guards right here and they're a little bit slanted so they sit on my wider nose a little bit better than most sunglasses that I buy with nose guards. Again, let's try them on you, sis. You look like a millionaire. You look like a millionaire is, okay? <laughs> you look good. The good thing about these sunglasses is that my husband wore them as well and they looked just as great on him as they did on me. So they are unisex and they would transition from you to your spouse, um, to your dog. Even your dog can wear them. So I'll link these at the bottom too if they are still in stock. Gorgeous sunglasses. Let's look at the next item. The next item is also Fendi and I have another color in this bag. I love this bag so much. So when I went to London, I ended up buying uh, the Fendi Graffy bag in black. I got it for like $800, $800. Guess how much it was here in the US? $1,400, $1,400. Get the plane ticket and go to Paris and go shopping. Cause in Paris, the bag was 980, here it's 1400. Just get the plane ticket and go shopping for your luxury items before the prices go up because I feel like they're going to bring the prices up to match the US since the euro is down now. I mean, it's almost the same as the dollar and you get the value added tax as well. Don't buy your stuff here. But I loved my black Fendi Graffy so much. I'm gonna put pictures to the side of me styling it that I bought another color. I bought another cola, okay? In this gorgeous pink. It's like a, ugh, it's pink but it's like a taupe. It's a taupe ink. It's a it's pink. It's a taupe pink. I don't know, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I will link a video of me going into detail of this bag in black so you can kind of see what fits inside of it, what doesn't fit inside of it, um, and how it works. I'm not going to go into that much detail because I do have a detailed video right here. This is my favorite part of the bag. It does have the plastic. I haven't worn it yet, but look at this. I love the stitching. I love the color. This is calf skin leather. It's a smooth leather, and again, it's a pinkish, taupish color. Um, in different light, it looks pink. In another light, it'll look more taupe. And then sometimes it can look beige. So you'll get a lot of different colors. It does come with extra hardware for you to put straps in. The bag does not come with straps, but it does come with hardware for you to add straps to it to make it a crossbody. How the bag is worn is it clips and turns into a croissant. And you kind of stick your hand in it. 
and you wear it like this or how I wear it is like this just like a top handle um, I style it with so many things now not a lot fits inside of this bag because it's not look how small it is it is not a big bag it is probably um, the size of maybe a Jack Moose uh, La Bambi New uh, no La Bambi No it's not even the bigger size it is a nano it is a charm right so it's a very very small bag it fits a card holder um, lipstick and maybe a powder brush and maybe a compact a small compact that's round it's not going to fit that much inside of it so you're not really buying it for functionality you're buying it for aesthetic it does however give you CPW cost per wear my black one I've worn more than any other bag I've bought this year so far this is it you have the gorgeous um, gold interior and I think this is a polyurethane coating on the inside so it's polyester the outside is leather <sighs> look at that it's a gorgeous bright gold I love when the inside is easy to clean so you can just take a cloth and wipe the inside if you get a little bit of lipstick pen mark or a you know foundation inside of it you can just get a wet cloth or wipe and just wipe it down again gorgeous bag when you store it store it unclipped so that the leather doesn't start creasing because when you clip it together guess what happens you get a little bit of creasing in the bag and so when you're storing it for long periods of time this will crease and the leather will start to crack so store it flat store it laying on its back on it on the leather um, I just wouldn't store it here because this will chip of course it is metal metal will oxidize over time it will chip as you hit it and this is the bottom of the bag so mind you it will chip over time. I said in the other video that this is not a bag that you're buying to like pass down decades, decades, decades. It's not a bag that you're buying because you want it to retain its value. It's a trendy bag. It is a, just a trendy bag and this will oxidize. It will change colors. It will chip and that's okay. You will get cost per wear out of it if you like mini bags. This one is cute. It literally goes with everything. I would advise you to get the black because the black is easier to style than maybe this color right here. Start with the black. If you like it, go get another color because I did because I loved it so much. Now, let's get to the Peace Day Irresistance. My Fendi first. <laughs> this is my very first Fendi first. I love this bag when it came out in February 2021. It came out for a winter collection. Jones just did something when he came out with this bag. He went into the corner and said, what can I make that's different and iconic for this brand? And literally, this bag took the internet by storm. First saw it on the runway, I screamed. And then of course, all the influencers started unboxing it. I did not know whether I was gonna like the bag with me. I might love a purse, but I have to go hold it. And nowhere around me had the bag and it sold out so quickly. And I just knew I wanted to hold it before I bought it. I passed out a lot of different opportunities to buy it when I went traveling, but I went to Vegas and I saw it in this motif, this color, this marble, this fabric. It's not even leather. And I said, bag her up she's mine so let's go ahead and take a look at y'all this bow is like doing all type of things <sighs> this is the Fendi first again I have already worn this bag okay it's already been worn but I haven't taken the plastic off yet I want to give it a little bit more time 
she's a newborn she just got adopted so i'm going to give her more time before i start stripping her down okay but i did wear her for my anniversary i'll put pictures to the side of me styling it this is a fabric it is not leather it's a marble fabric the colors are like psychedelic Delic. They're so bright. They're so beautiful. It has so much detail going on in this bag. Like this, ah, absolutely gorgeous. The handle, of course, is the F for Fendi and it is in suede. So this is fabric and this is in suede. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. Then of course you have gold trimming around the F, which I absolutely love. Like this bag is just so unique again i haven't taken the plastic off so don't mind the plastic but look how unique and different and gorgeous this bag is you have fabric you have suede and then it opens you just press the button down and it opens with a clasp and the inside is a hundred percent lamb skin leather in this absolutely vibrant beautiful red color I am like so excited about it. One of my favorite aspects of this bag is the clasp that twists and clicks into place for you to be able to do um, straps if you want to. Now the bag does come with straps, but the straps are not long. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But look at that. You just kind of click it. Hold on. There we go. You kind of click it back into place when you want to close the purse up. And if you want to use the double straps, you twist it and you hear it click into place. You close it and then you can put the straps on it. Let's take a look at the straps. The straps, again, are not that long. So FYI, you are not going to be able to wear this, you know, as a crossbody. It's, it's a short strap. What I would suggest, let's put the strap on, just clicks right in, and let's do it to the other side, clicks right in, and this is it with the straps. These are short straps, they are shoulder straps, I would not call them cross body straps so you can have it as a shoulder bag but not as a cross body what i would suggest is that you go and you buy straps from fendi or just any generic straps off amazon and wear it as a cross body but these are shoulder straps not cross body straps how you usually would hold the bag is just right underneath your arm so like this like so it just goes right underneath your arm and it's a clutch or you can hold it in your hand like this. Um, but how I would wear it and how I usually wear it when I've worn it is right underneath my arm. You get a little bit of the F and then you also get all of this beautiful coloring as you walk. You can style it so many different ways with so many different colors. It has so many colors in it that you can pull from the yellow, you can pull from the blue, you can pull from the red, you can pull from the orange. Like it is, it, it looks like a volcano. Or you know when you are looking at the weather and then they show the solar map? <laughs> it looks like the solar map. Um, where you have all these beautiful colors that kind of show you what the weather looks like. So that is the Fendi Furs that I bought. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Let's talk about what fits inside of this bag. When it comes to what fits inside of the bag, I want you to keep in mind that the opening is a little bit narrow. As you can see, those are the sides. But once you get inside of it, it has a lot of room. I've put what I usually carry apart from my wallet in here and it still has room for even more things. It fits a sunglass case, which means that it will fit a full size wallet. My wallet is about this size. It fits it inside of it. Nail polish, cause you never know when you're gonna chip something. My iPhone 13 Pro Max fits in here. Lipstick fits in here and a whole compact and as I said there was still room to put even more inside of this bag the opening is a little bit narrow just because of these two protruding um, sides but once you get to the interior it's very roomy 
it's very roomy it's like a you know honda it looks small on the outside but once you get inside you can fit your whole family inside of there so that is my new favorite bag right now is this gorgeous Fendi first if I had to give this bag a uh, one out of ten I would definitely give it a eight and a half the only reason is I wish it came with crossbody straps um, because for the price of fifty two hundred dollars it should come with longer straps but other than that functionality you know out of the park and look aesthetic out of the park I think wearability is where I would take off a little bit just because I would like crossbody straps with it but I can always go find crossbody straps to add to this gorgeous piece of art because it is art let me know how you would rate the items that I found is it something that you would buy did you like any of the items the two bags and the sunglasses which item would you want to take for yourself if I decided to give it to you which item would you say I'll take that one for me comment down below and let me know if you are not a part of this channel please think about hitting that subscribe button and if you're one of my regular lovies hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when I put out a new post y'all it's been amazing on this corner of the internet thank you for coming and spending time with me love you mean it bye